This is the exact prompt that I use to create my voice agents optimized for GPT 4.1. Usually, these meta prompts ask you for your use case, you give it some details, and then it creates a prompt. But this is way more than that. This is your partner in creating amazing voice agents. This is meant to be a guide for you and your favorite AI to collaborate, to work together. And the key here is the strategic question. There's 10 questions that Claude will ask you to get everything it needs to create a decent prompt. The structure of the prompt is already optimized for GPT 4.1, but I don't want you to take my word for it because this is OpenAI's 29 pages on how to use and prompt GPT 4.1. I deep dive into all the details of how this works and why it works so well in our most recent workshop in our community. So if you want to dig deeper and get more details, you have that recording. But what I really want to give you is the understanding that creating a prompt is not about giving the AI the right instructions. That is just stage one. And although these are really good instructions at creating prompt, real world use cases are actually really nuanced. So they need auditing, they need manual review. It's one of the two keys for great voice agents. You review the prompt manually, word by word, because when you understand your prompt, you are able to improve your prompt. After understanding your prompt, this refinement collaboration, again, not telling the AI what to do, but it holding your hand as to what to look for in this prompt ab about how it could be better. And then comes my favorite part, which is testing. You actually test the prompt. You feed the transcripts back to Claude. Hey, this is how it went. Here's the transcript. This is what it did. This is what it should have done. How can we improve from there? You'll keep interacting with Claude back and forth and testing for the things that are important for your use case. Then we have some example interactions. And the best part is that all of this is modifiable. What are the important reminders for your use case? I put this prompt in a Google Docs that you'll be able to get in the community. And how you actually set this up is in a cloud project. This is what that looks like, project knowledge. You have the instructions right here, which has the exact same prompt that you just saw, as well as extra instructions for when you need knowledge bases. And both of those documents are right here. And then you let Claude hold your hand. Hey, Claude, I have a new use case around real estate. And after I answer these questions, the real collaboration will start. And I mentioned that one of the two keys to building great voice agents is manual review. When you learn the prompt, you can improve the prompt. The key number two is what are you testing for? Who are these users that you'll be calling or that will be calling in? What do they want? What do they need? You need absolute clarity on that. And this exact same prompt will guide you through that conversation of who are these testing personas that then you can test with. Every single platform has persona testing capabilities. And this applies to all of them. Because at the end of the day, what this prompt specializes in is using GPT 4.1 at its maximum capability. So from somebody that has been around in the LLM space since before OpenAI released GPT 2, I can tell you that 4.1 was trained in a way that it's extremely good at following instructions, but it follows them quite literally. So if you want to get all the benefits from fine-tuned GPT 4.1, but minimize all the risks, I'd recommend you go get this prompt in the community and start building voice agents with it. And if you want a deeper dive to understand why I'm so obsessed with Cloud4 building the voice agent prompts, check out this video above. I worked so hard on it to really distill everything that is great about Cloud4. Go check it out. My name is Alejo, and remember to never stop prompting.